Okay folks, we've come here to escape the hullabaloo and the annoying people uh, uptown today. We've come to the peace and quiet here off the eastern necropolis where we're going to be looking for the grave oops, of James Eason, the Dundee poet. Now I didn't know about this guy until I just got the book in the library. So we're going to go look for his grave and uh, read a little bit about him. It says it's in the southwest corner. So this is where we are, hopefully. I love this, doing this grave search, you know, and you learn so much about people and places and things and, you know, just by looking at the graves. Excellent fun. Right, James Eason, where art thou? He's in here somewhere. Now, I'm in the southwest corner. It actually says near the southwest corner. The only clue I've got to go on is the picture there, which is like, a, it's like a base so it's like one of these kind of graves that I'm looking for. So at least that kind of narrows down the search though. So we're going to start and be very methodical and go to the, the southwesterly, the most southwesterly point that there is and just work our way outward from there. So let's see how quickly it takes me to find this, this grave. Walking fast, walking fast, walking very fast. 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 Walking fast, walking. Now, James Eason was seemingly quite a nice chap, very talented chap who was uh, kind of like a homeless, illegitimate child, really, had to work his way up. And, uh, morning, birds. And he died in the Dundee Lunatic Asylum in 1865. He was a, a keen contributor to the People's Journal. And it was the People's Journal who erected this stone to him. Such was his, um, his popularity with the people. He was called the People's Poet, seemingly. I'm just reading all this from the book, so it'll just be kind of bits and pieces here and there. But uh, at the moment, no luck. Yeah, having a bit of trouble here. So I've just had a closer look at the picture and there's actually a, a wall on the back of the uh, the picture and some rhododendron bushes. So to me that would be, well there's the wall there so and there's some roadies here so we're getting there folks. We're getting there. Of course there's a big local interest sticker across the uh, the most important bit of the, of the picture. But I reckon he's against the wall by the looks of this, so, and out a little bit, so we should be finding it soon, folks. Well, folks, just after five minutes speaking to you there, I've actually found it. Here it is. But it's a bit of a shame because, look, this is it. It's got nothing else on. It's just the, um, the words on it. No, there's no top bit of the grave. James Eason, born 25th of December, 1833, died 5th of June, 1865 erected by the proprietors of the People's Journal in memory of a working man who had a rare literary gift, oh sorry, had rare literary gifts and whose writings are his best memorial. So there it is folks, the grave of James Eason, the Dundee poet, the People's poet. So there it is, the grave. Now according to the, uh, the book the Life and Works of James Eason, the Dundee People's Poet by Anthony Falks. James Eason was a, a brooding kind of chap who was uh, very timid and quiet, but very intelligent and uh, kind of like a, a generous of spirit kind of chap. He was always thinking of the poor, the orphans, the widows, the deaf, dumb and the blind. Um, they played on his mind quite a lot seemingly um, and it, it just gave him a a sense of brooding and darkness surrounding him and when he died um, yeah everybody was rather sad because he did do some rather nifty poems I've just had a, a read of some of them and they are they, they've got a, a sense of um, darkness about them which I like so I'll read you a wee verse from one of them so this poem is called conscience conscience what is conscience? It is but the spark of light divine, which nothing from our minds can shut or hinder there to shine. Tis that which did 
we only heed its warning timely given might stop each base and wicked deed and send our souls to heaven we plan an action that is bad we feel a deep remorse then tis the prudent plan at once that notion to divorce for if we still will so persist in what we know is ill we its sharp pangs cannot resist they wound us deeper still again if acts of good we do and with god's laws do move soul soothing pleasures sweet and new its rich rewards will prove tis spread our faces with smiles of joy and all our minds with ease to know our doings have been right and with his law agrees no torment like a conscience bad to punish and rebuke tis never ending dark and sad and tells in every look but no delight like one unstained unsullied bright and pure with it a heaven we have obtained of blessing sweet and sure right that was a, a great chill just sitting there no, nice and peaceful nobody to annoy me at all so i learned something already from the the library so it's definitely well worth joining up learned something about the dundee poet and uh, had a wee adventure because of that so yeah super stuff right i'm lost in the graveyard let's go back and do something else now see you later folks now just before i go though folks i was reading in the local paper that um some people were actually quite shocked at the state of the uh, the eastern necropolis here uh, with all the gravestones lying over and i must say i didn't actually realize how bad it was <coughs> there are loads of these stones just lying over look at them all it really is uh, pretty bad so i think the council should really get their finger out and do something about it because well i think it's up to them to to deal with it isn't it yeah i mean i know some of these graves are really really old and nobody ever probably comes to a lot of them but it just doesn't make it very nice for the people that do come here still to have a look around and it is kind of council property isn't it and we do pay our council tax to keep these places updated and it is a sacred ground really a lot of people uh, take a lot of pride and uh, you know come here quite a lot to see their their deceased so I'm tending to agree with the people you know normally I just got all these people just moaning about nothing but they're not I mean, look at this it's just all the way up here it really is pretty bad and there's look everywhere you look it's actually pretty shocking now that i come to have a proper look at it i must say really bad indeed goodness okay all right hmm. Now, just by chance, I've stumbled upon the grave here of Robert Annan, who I read about in one of my books. This chap, it was a bit of a, I think it was an alcoholic and a bit of a waster in his early life. Um, but then he had some heroic deeds. He saved 11 people from drowning. Um, and then he drowned himself while trying to save the, uh, the 12th drowning victim. So uh, he was awarded the Medal of Humanity. Uh, well, the Medal of Humanity, is that a thing, the Medal of Humanity? Am I reading this right? Oh, sorry, yeah, the, the Medal of the Dundee Humane Society for his exertions on behalf of humanity and perish while in the act of saving the 12th. Oh, at the Craig Harbour, Dundee, yeah, I remember reading about that. So, um, in admiration of his heroic death, this monument has been erected from contributions by all ranks and professions and in gratitude for his noble sacrifice. Wow. So there we go. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Yeah, he became a bit of a changed character, seemingly. And when he did die and uh, they buried him here, there was millions, millions of people came here to, to witness the event. Of course, this was before internet and iPlayers and things. So there we go, folks. Just by accident, I've stumbled upon this grave. Excellent. There it is. Quick photograph. Did I do that? There it is. Thank you. Well, that was indeed strange because I didn't know where I was going. I was just wandering around and I came across that grave. I, I seem to be drawn to it for some reason, which is rather odd, because yesterday when I was playing the uh, the organ in the Caird Hall, it felt like I was possessed by the spirit of the organ, almost. Because if you just listen carefully, you'll hear me just go do 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 do. Now I don't think I've ever played that before, and I, you know I don't I don't know it. But it just came to me and it just came into my fingers and do 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 do
So, I mean, something possessed me there to do that. What's going on?